Hi guys, I'm Sijan and it's my first YouTube video. Today I'm going to share a little theory of mine regarding the purple guy and his identity. So after the release of Neff's sister location, we get lots of new information. In the real ending, we see the player getting scooped following with a cutscene of the player having purple eyes. Most of you probably guessed what Scott tried to hint here. The player was scooped and entered into the body of the player and thus the purple guy was born. But the question is, did this happen only once? Look at this teaser image which Scott posted on his website. It says, there was never just one. One what? My theory is that he was talking about the purple guy. This could actually mean two things. One, Ennard used different bodies to hide and do his killings. Two, there were multiple Ennards. I'm supporting both of them. If you remember, in night two inside the vents, you get the news that there was a body found there once. Also, baby tells you that there were others before you. There is a space under the desk. Someone before you crafted it into a hiding place and it worked for him. In night 5, Handman informs you that there are two more technicians. But we can find them hanging. So, there was never any lack of bodies for Inner to hide in. They could easily escape and mix among the humans. This would create plenty of opportunities and suspects. In FNAF 2, after completing Night 7, the player gets fired due to bad odor and tampering with the animatronics. But here it can be clearly seen that it's written employer number 3 on the check. If the morning guard is employer number 1, Jeremy from night 1 to 6 is employer number 2, who is this employer number 3? He also has a different name from the previous night guard. I think you all can guess who he is. He is undoubtedly the purple guard. Why order? Why tampering with the animatronics? Well, it is normal for dead bodies to smell rotten. And it isn't hard for Ennard to temper or take over an animatronics. Ennard probably had a new victim or he may still be using the body from FNAF's sister location. As I stated, there could be multiple Ennards. So it is not necessary for it to be the same Ennard from sister location. Another thing is to note here that in the night 6 phone call of NAF2, the phone guy said to the player that he may take the night shift from now on. Uh, when the place eventually opens again, I'll probably take a night shift myself. There is also no phone call in night 7. This hints that phone guy is actually Fritz Smith, who is the employer number 3, and he comes to work at night 7. So phone guy can be none other than the purple guy. At least one of the purple guys. This may also be a reason why night 7 is too hard. The animatronics containing the souls of the dead children surely wants revenge. Moving on to FNAF 1. We can assume that the player Mike is not the purple guy. He works all 5 nights and receives his pay. Every night he is accompanied by a phone call, even in night 4 and night 5. Why is that? Most people say he dies in night 4, but I don't think so. Remember who phone guy is? He is Ennard, the purple guy. I think night 4 in FNAF 1 is the night when the animatronics surround the purple guy and the purple guy or Ennard escapes. Maybe he got wounded in the fight and somehow his voice shift stem got malfunctioned. This would explain why there are gargles in the night 5 phone call. Yeah, 
and why Springtrap in FNAF 3 cannot talk. We pretty much know what happened from here. How the purple guy became Springtrap. One thing I'm still not sure is that who is the player of Night 7 of FNAF 1. The check he receives do not have a name. He also gets fired due to order and tampering with the animatronics. Maybe he's another NR or could even be a phone guy as there is no call in night 7. I would like you to follow the theory of Doko about FNAF 4 and sister locations connection. He did a brilliant video on that and I totally agree with his theory. So with this I'll conclude my video. I may have some flaws on my theory. If you like the video press that thumbs up button and subscribe. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my theory in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.